In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a 3D extrusion from a custom shape. Now, first thing to do, just go over to the custom shape tool. So there's the custom shape tool in my toolbar. It might be different than yours. Depends on the customization of the toolbar. Now, go up to the up here. You've got shape, path, and pixels. Well, I'm just going to go with shape. Now you can set a color for it. I'm just going to go for maybe red and then go for the shape. Now I've got these are polygon designs. These are available on the Graphic Extras website. But of course you can use any other custom shapes as well for Photoshop. This is for Photoshop CC 2017. Same basic approach for earlier versions as well. Now, once you've got that, just go to there and apply the shape design. So there's the sh initial shape. Now, the 3D features in Photoshop are all available here. Now, I'll bring over the layer so you can actually see the layer. You can actually see it turns like so. 3D and new 3D extrusion from a selected layer. Now, okay, so once you've actually done that, and you can see, now you've got this up, up here as well, which shows the actual 3D design as well changing. So you can rotate it, roll it, and all those sort of things you can also drag it so you can select there drag that around and so you've got that 3d design now the key panels here are now i've got layers there you can see now you've got all the various 3d features you've got various diffuse etc what you can see here is you've got the 3d and another one that's very useful is properties so once you've actually got properties now this is where the extrusion is extrusion depth now, if you actually go and select something else, I'm just going to go over here again to the 3D, say light, see that suddenly vanishes, changes there. Game current view, scene, the key thing is just to select the shape one. So you've got shape one selected, you've got all the other various settings there, I'm not going to change those, I'm just doing extrusion in this. So you can just see the depth here, as well as a few other things as well. So you just modify, you can also go minus, so you can just move that back. Now, Unfortunately, sometimes like defaults something massive like that. Sometimes just want it to be a very, very thin extrusion like that. And then again, you can see, click there to rotate it around and see the design like that. Now, when you've got that, say you want to actually maybe add another shape. So the key thing here is just go to that shape. So you've got that shape and just say, obviously you don't want to delete the object, but there's a duplicate objects. And I'm just going to select that. You see it will just suddenly process it and it will create the shape. Now you can drag it up there. I'm going to put it just there, shape like that. And then that one selects. So you can actually rotate that around. So you can create some very interesting 3D designs just by just doing that. And again, you can modify extrusion depth. And you can see you can make a thin design there. That's very thin. Just, of course, you can enter the value as well. So you don't have to do it via this slider. You can just go over here maybe make it 10 if you only want 10 probably easier in some ways now what you can also do then is just hold the shift down and select both shapes so you've got both shapes and you've got sort of like a sort of plain design there you can then just say select there and group objects so you've got them grouped now and then rotate the whole design so you can just rotate that and the extrusion still works so you can actually extrude but then, of course, it just applies it to both of the shapes that you've actually created. So maybe not particularly ideal. So you might like that or not. OK, there it is. Once you actually got that design, now you can what you can do with that, you can go to the 3D and you can export 3D layer. So you just select. And there's a number of options. So something like object files, whatever, useful for, for, for certainly for me anyway, uh, Poser. But... Um, which I use a lot for some wonderful 3D sort of modeling designs. But you can also render it. So just go to 3D and render 3D layer. Really up to you if you want to do that. It does take a bit of time to process and it will continue on processing. I'm not going to do that here. And you can also just say layer flatten image. Personally, most of the time, the result are quite reasonable. And then you can then, of course, apply blur and so on and so on to actually modify the actual design there. Right, that's just a quick run through of creating some interesting 3D designs using custom shapes and 3D extrusion. And of course, there's lots, lots more you can do with the 3D model. So if I actually went back, and I'm just going to go back now, just that was 
other options. If you go over to this shape, you can see, so just select the shape, and you've got there, there's other ones. So you can go to deform, and you can modify those as well, maybe twist, apply a twist there. I like some interesting designs from that 3D shape, and you can also modify the bevel as well, and inflate, and Crates, I say, vast range of interesting designs, and of course, we can combine them all in multiple different ways to build up far more complex models than just using a custom shape in Photoshop. Anyway, that's a custom shape. Of course, you can use any custom shapes, so it's just any custom shapes that come with Photoshop. There's a whole range of different custom shapes. And if I go up there, layer, flatten image, go back to the actual custom shape tool, you can see you've got there, you've got, you've got a whole range of designs there that can be turned into. Wonderful 3D models which you can use in your uh, work. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.